Hello, I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel. My channel is all about Twin Flame Ascension. How are you? Hey, in this video, I want to talk to you about your love life. For some reason, people have veered off really far off track sometimes. You learned about narcissists. Yes, there's narcissistic people. Those people are not your twin. So don't equate it with your twin flame. Number two, you're here for real love. And we just are now hitting this point collectively as a human race to really ditch our past. So if you've been following along, you'll learn about things like your ancestral roots and how that affects you. Now for females, this can have a really huge effect because what? You're not expected to do a lot of the same things that your ancestors did. That's why you need to shed it off in a hurry. And I'm saying shed, shed the crap or whatever. Shed it off in a hurry. Why? Because it is time. It's time for you to really gear up. Now, I know that that's like saying something that you might already feel inside. How do you do this? There's ways that you don't do it. I think we've seen with the recent uh, cult exposures that those are way wrong ways to do it. In fact, those hook in a lot of the old ancestral and addictive stuff and fearful stuff that did your ancestors in in some ways. Okay, this is about real love. Now, a lot of people have not felt love in a really long time. And I want to assure you there's stepping stones and there is a way to take out the junk and get the real love in. You have a brand new light body for one thing. So pay attention to this because things are on the move. And when I say things, parts of your body are on the move. Parts of your body have to elevate. These subtle parts, these subtle body connections and your shared connective points, which are called marmas, are shifting. They're moving away from soulmates. So let me pose a few questions. Have you left a few soulmates in your wake? Like really like, you know, there they are, dead and buried, and you never want to hear from those people again, except when a retrograde energy comes around. And then they're reaching out to you. They're going down memory lane. Suddenly you're the best thing ever, except when you were with them and they really turned into the soulmate from hell. Well, you don't have to live in that hell. Do not go backwards. Move forward and find out what this is really about. So we want to talk about your love life, past, present, and future. Your past does involve things like patterns, patterns of behavior, addictive behaviors, patterns of how you relate. Like as an individual, how do you relate to mom and dad? How do you relate to the masculine? How do you relate to the feminine? Many people don't think of it in those terms, but yet things will come up that will mirror to you what you need to fix. And it's not a bad mirror because sometimes it can swirl around you where you're like, wow, I just saw that couple arguing when I went to get ice cream. I'm doing something very innocent and there it was right in front of me, right in front of my face. I definitely don't want that in my union. So here's what you say to those situations. That has no bearing on my twin flame union. Be decisive. Be direct to yourself. Don't be wishy-washy. The next thing, do not send mixed signals to your higher self. How do you know you have a higher self? It's the part of you that looks out for you. It's the part of you that sort of, you know, you're poured into your body and a percentage of you ex existing here. But it's not the all of you. It's not the entirety of you. There is much more to your multidimensional, multifaceted, glittering, beautiful self. And there's so much more to discover, experience, and feel. So do you feel like your tank isn't getting filled? Do you feel like you're getting depleted of energy? Do you feel like you're holding space for others? Do you feel like you're propping everyone up and nobody's propping you up? That is a serious decline in your magnetic energy. The back of your heart isn't supported. 
the front of your heart is in support of, and everyone's piling on, as I say, getting on mommy's last nerve. You had one nerve left and people are stepping on that frayed nerve and it hurts and it's uncomfortable and it's disturbing. And we're here in the beginning part of the year and it feels like nothing has changed, but we can change it. Are you interested in where this is going? Love life, past, what were your love lives? Who loved you? Have you had past lives with your real twin flame? How would you distinguish that? Here's a hint. It's in how it feels and how it doesn't feel. I get you to feel that. My gift is that I'm able to tell people it's like a movie opens up a little 3D film of what happened. What was your demise? What was the demise of your twin? How did you lose each other? Okay, we didn't, okay, to say it like this, your soul doesn't rip itself apart, nor has there been any force to rip yourself apart. But when you've been living in experiences and situations, you get chopped down, okay? You're like the mighty oak that you've been chopped and chopped until finally there's something that is your demise. What is that mortal wound? It doesn't matter who did you in. I want to reconnect you. And I can. That is exactly what my modality does. And we have a lot of fun doing this. There is a lot of fun in exploring this. Over the next four weeks from when we start, you will be in an exploration mode and feeling, really feeling the difference. This is something tarot cards can't do, your runes can't do, your pendulum can't do. In fact, if you're up here, I want to bring you back to your heart, back to the heart where it really counts because that's going to make you feel energized and filled and loved. Okay. Now I've been working with people. I've, I didn't just start doing this over 10 years, getting people onto the track that they need to be. That's the present, the present. What is your love life? Can you distinguish? Can you be able to say no to the wrong people? And maybe they're not terrible people. They are just, they're just wrong for you now. They, and maybe in the past you thought to yourself, I'll give it a chance. That's wishy-washy. Oh, I guess if God had them cross my path. No, your higher self wants you to be decisive like Goldilocks and say, nope, that one's too hot. That one's too cold. Give me the one that's just right for me, for me, for you. You're going to know. Because every cell in your body is going to be sounding the alarms like, no, 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 don't let them touch you. Many times I confused fear reactions for butterflies in the stomach. Oh, I know. It happens to a lot of women. You see someone coming towards you and your body is having a reaction. And in your mind, you're saying, oh, give them a chance. Oh, give them a chance. No. Why? Why when you're here for the real thing? Why? Which is your future and how this is supposed to be. How are you creating the intimacy, that depth that you really want? How do you get the wounds out of your psyche? How do you really feel? Would you like to see through my work, by following my work in my upcoming class, what was your demise? How can you help each other? Because that's truly the only person in the entire universe you should help. Energetically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and most of all, multidimensionally. You always retrieve each other from the brink of death. Why wouldn't you do it? Pull them or let them help pull you out of that living situation that makes you feel like you're dying on the vine. Are you with me? Come join. Look for the links below and reach out for the real help that you need. We get you on track expediently. Thanks so much for watching and please watch the videos all the way through. Like and subscribe. Tell others because this is the real thing. Thanks so much. Bye.